hello hello good morning welcome back to our channel and uh, this new episode so this is day 2 um, we are in uh, udaipur in the prakash hotel um, we have planned a uh, tuk tuk ride today to go over uh, udaipur uh, so uh, general itinerary is uh, going to the monsoon palace city palace um, Pichola Lake, uh, Bagorki, Haveli, and we don't know what else is there. Uh, but we have planned the entire day um, and um, we will take you on our journey and we will keep you posted as we go along the journey. We started our day by having our breakfast. Uh, we had ordered puri, sabji and uh, poha with some coffee and tea and later we hired a auto uh, to head towards the monsoon palace. My tip for the day is hire an auto wherever you want to explore in Udaipur. It's the best mode of transportation. Uh, the roads are quite narrow and you will enjoy auto rides. Basically now we have reached the uh, monsoon palace uh, which is about uh, uh, 6 kilometers from the place where we are staying. So the entry fees for the uh, monsoon palace is uh, 110 for uh, uh, Indian citizens and 350 for uh, uh, non-Indian citizens and uh, you also can take a private uh, taxi or uh, they will merge a lot of people and uh, do a group taxi so you can take that to come from the gate to the palace point um, the ticket is somewhere around uh, for the jeep is about again another 500 we were five of us so 100 per person but since we took a private uh, vehicle it costed us uh, 1000 rupees Well, Monsoon Palace is also called as Sajangar Palace, which is located at a hilltop in the city of Udaipur, overlooking the Fateh Sagar Lake. Well, uh, this is built by a Mewar dynasty in the year 1884 and offers a panoramic view of city's lakes, palace and surrounding countryside. Monsoon Palace is made of white marble and in true Rajasthani style. It is characterized by high turrets, multiple pillars, domes and jarokas. There is a grand central court with staircases leading up to the multiple rooms and chambers on all the sides. So we've finished visiting the monsoon uh, palace and now uh, we are heading back. We will keep you posted about the next destinations. Let's go. Let's go. Go, go, go. So we had now come to a boating point uh, which is in the Fateh Sagar Lake. And uh, look at this view man. it was just amazing right? Uh, just amazing ride from here. Fateh Sagar Lake is an artificial lake named after Maharana Fateh Singh of Udaipur and is built in the year 1687. It is the second largest of the four lakes of Udaipur city and uh, boating in this backdrop is a must do activity. So now we are heading to have a cup of tea. So let's go. Uh, try the Kullar Cha whenever you are in Udaipur, and uh, it is very famous among the locals here in Udaipur because of its uh, smoky flavor, which gives a dingy touch to it. So 
So we are done with the boat ride. Next we are heading towards the palace. What? How was the boat ride? Chana it was a little fast for me though. How that? I mean, like as in it was too short. If you're gonna do so fast, like you're done. City Palace Udaipur is built on the banks of Lake Pichola and is considered to be the largest royal complex in Rajasthan. This magnificent palace was built in the year 1559 by Maharana Uday Singh. This palace has mahals, courtyards, pavilions, corridors, terraces, rooms and hanging gardens. There is a museum that showcases some of the finest elements of Rajput arts and culture from the colorful paintings to the typical architecture found in Rajasthani palaces. This palace is built of granite and marbles. The interiors of the palace are decorated with mirror work, marble work, murals, wall paintings and silver work with colored glasses. An inviting view of the city can be seen from the terrace of the palace. The mahals have now been transformed into museum. The city palace has 11 wonderful palaces and most of these are turned into galleries now. Amar Villas is the highest point of the palace where you can see the hanging gardens with fountains, towers and terraces. So we are at Gangur Ghat in Udaipur and I think it's really pretty. We went to the palaces earlier today and now we are hanging out by Lake Pichola and right next to us is Bagor Ki Haveli which has dances which is really cool. We've reached uh, Gangor Ghat. Um, this is uh, near Pichola Lake. Uh, if you come on the city palace road, um, you can actually come to this Gangor Ghat. Uh, this is one of the heritage kind. Uh, you know, close to this is Bagor Ki Haveli, where you have uh, um, various traditional dances. Uh, which happens. I, I believe there are, there are two, three shows. One happens in the afternoon and a couple of them in the evening times. Um, there is also a lot of pigeons in this area. You can come and feed the pigeons. The views from here is definitely amazing. We recommend you to take a two-wheeler or walk to access the location as the roads in the city are a bit congested. So welcome to the Aditi section of the Wanderer Tales vlogs where I tell you about how Instagrammable a location is. So far, Udaipur has been really good for my Instagram feed. Anywhere you go, you can take like 45 different pictures of a million different things, and I have done so. 
But if you ever want to really make your Instagram feed look super nice, Udaipur is a great place to start. So people, time is uh, 5.40 and uh, now we are uh, back from Bagor Ki Haveli and uh, the Gangor Ghat. Uh, we are heading towards the Udaipur city palace, uh, which is at a walkable distance, maybe 10 minutes from this Haveli. Uh, meanwhile, on the way you can, uh, you have a lot of options for shopping, uh, like handicrafts, clothes and uh, some other items. We actually did a lot of our shopping on the City Palace Street. Uh, this is definitely a must visit for every shopping spree. Um, it is an alluring street as here you find these amazingly chicken classy leather articles. Uh, it's a perfect blend of ultra modern and vintage. Um, so if you want to kind of uh, buy leather bags, um, some hanging articles, um, definitely um, you can try City Palace Street. So basically we have reached the City Palace and uh, we have taken the ticket for the light and sound show and uh, ticket charges are uh, 300 rupees per head. मन मोहक दिव्य रूप दम के गा कभी विश्व भर में आपका आशीष पाकर मैं 